So we're going to talk about significant figures and scientific notation today. The benefit of scientific notation is this. You can tell the number of significant figures. You don't have to worry about any rules at all. So that's what's really great about this, okay? So how many significant figures does each number in scientific notation have? So this is, again, this is a number between 1 and 10, and it can be exactly 1, like 1.0, okay? So right here, we have two digits here. That means you have two significant figures. So this number right here has two significant figures. So those are the ones that are the most important and how, how precise the number is written. This one right here, we have one, two, three. So this one has three significant figures. That zero counts, okay? So three significant figures. And that's, this is what's great about scientific notation. 4.023, this one has one, two, three, four. This one has four significant figures. It has nothing to do, I wanna make this clear, this has nothing to do with this exponent. It's that there's a four, a zero, a two, and a three. There's four digits there. This has four significant figures. And my pen is running out of ink. And I'm gonna fix that, okay? And then we'll go to rounding um, different um, in scientific notation. We'll do that next. So rounding this to two significant figures, that's what I'm asking you to do here, okay? So we need to look at the three significant figures. Now this number, this number in scientific notation has one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six significant figures. We wanna round to two. So here's one, here's two, and I wanna look at this one right here, this three to determine it, okay? So that three, if, it's, if that digit right there in the third position, in the third significant figures position, is zero, one, two, three, or four, it stays the same number. That four is gonna stay. If it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we're gonna round up, okay? So this number into two significant figures is 3.4, that's my two significant figures, times 10 to the eight. And that's rounding this to two significant figures, okay? This next one is 7.24831. It has one, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. We went around to three significant figures. So there's my first one. There's my second one. There's my third one. I need to look at this fourth one to determine it, okay? So since that's eight, this four is going to become a five. So this becomes seven point. 2, 5 times 10 to the negative 6 power. This next one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 significant figures. I want to round it to 4 significant figures. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to look at the fifth one to determine whether I round the fourth one. So that's a 3, so I'm not going to round. I'm just going to keep it the same. So this becomes 5.321. times 10 to the 14th, okay? All right, so however, num however many, if we take a number and write it in scientific notation, whatever significant figures that number has, we need to have um, the same number of significant figures when, when we write it in scientific notation, okay? All right, so let's do the first example. We're gonna go and we're gonna start, I'm gonna show you how to multiply these and then write that answer with the correct number of significant figures. We're gonna do multiplication and division. So what we're gonna look at is this number right here has two significant figures. So two significant figures. And this one has one, two, three, four significant figures. Okay, and this is a multiplication problem. So what we have to do, our answer can only have two significant figures. It has to have the same number of significant figures as the numbers we're multiplying, the one that has the least number of significant figures, which is this one. Okay, so now to, to multiply scientific notation, okay, 
we're going to do 3.2. We're going to take the powers of 10 and we're going to separate. We're going to put those together and the plain old numbers like 3.2 and 7.213. We're going to multiply those together. Okay. So we're going to multiply 3.2 times 7.213. And I'm just using parentheses to show the multiplication. Okay. You could use a dot also. And then times, and then we have this 10 to the eighth. And we have this 10 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, so now we're gonna multiply these two numbers together with a calculator. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my calculator. I'll put it right here so you can see it. I'm gonna turn it on, clear it out. Okay, so 3.2 times 7.213. And we get 23.0816. So this number is gonna equal 23.0816. 1, 6 times 10 to, okay, now this is an exponent rule because we're going to use x to the a times x to the b. That's the same as x raised to the a plus b, okay? So the, the x in this case is 10. They're both 10. So 10 to the 8th times 10 to the 5th, that becomes times 10 to the 13th, okay? Now, Here's the problem. I want this written in scientific notation, and I also want it to the correct number of significant figures. Okay, so let's just worry about one thing at a time. Let's get this in scientific notation because right now it's not, because this number is not between one and 10. Okay, it's 23. All right, so we could rewrite this as this is this is a number bigger than 10, so our number, our exponent is going to have to be um, positive. So this number becomes 2. 0.30816 times 10 to, and I know it's positive because that number is bigger than 10, right? It's a bigger number, okay? So then that means I need to move it one place to the left, so that'd be an exponent of one, along with this times 10 to the 13th, and I'm going to use this exponent rule again to get this right, okay? So this is 2.30816 times 10 to the 14th power. That's how you do scientific notation, okay? Now, we're gonna worry about this additional part of significant figures. This number right here has two significant figures. So this number right here has one, two, three, four, five, six. We went around to two, so we're gonna look at the first one, the second one, we're gonna look at the third one to determine whether to round the second one, and since that's a zero, we're not. This number, in scientific notation, written with the correct number of significant figures, would be 2.3 times 10 to the 14th. Now, I didn't put units on this, but if we had units, if there was units associated with these numbers, then we would put the units right here too, okay? That's how you do this, okay? You want to break the powers of 10 up, okay, uh, like 10 to a power, times 10 to the power, and then bring those in together. We're gonna to do the same thing with division, but instead of multiplying them, we're gonna be dividing them, okay? So let's do that next, um, and then we'll be done. So what we wanna do here is the same thing we just did, okay? We wanna write your answer in scientific notation, that's the first thing, and then we wanna write it with the correct number of significant figures. Okay, so this number, this is scientific notation, this is also scientific notation, this bottom number has three significant figures. Okay. And this top number has one, two, three, four, five significant figures. So whichever these is the least is going to be, that's how many significant figures our answer is going to have. Okay, so again, we're gonna break this up into um, the 10 to a powers. We're gonna treat those separately than just the plain old numbers, okay? The decimal numbers. So we're gonna take this 1.4621, and we're gonna divide that by 5.83, and we're gonna multiply that by 10 to the seventh over 10 to the negative two. Okay. So now we're gonna divide this, okay? And we're gonna get an answer. It's probably gonna be a long string of numbers, okay? And then we're gonna take this. Now to do this one, this is a different exponent rule. What we're gonna use is this, x to the a over x to the b 
that's equal to x to the a minus b power. So we're gonna take this top exponent, which is seven, and we're gonna subtract. Now, again, I'm gonna keep saying this. This negative is not the subtraction here. That's the number we're subtracting. That is not subtraction, that is a negative number. So this is actually gonna be seven minus negative two, and seven minus negative two is gonna cause it to be adding, okay? All right, so when we divide this, I'm gonna grab my calculator. I'll put this in for you, okay? So 1.4621. And we're going to divide that by 5.83 and get our answer. Okay. And I would write all of the decimals you see on your calculator for right now. Okay. I know that's a pain. So this is 0 0.25078902223 times, and this is going to become 10 raised to the 7 minus negative 2. Okay, so that's actually going to be 10 and that this is going to become nine right here. Okay, so I just want to show this to you because I'm not going to teach you, be teaching you live today. Okay, um, so this number right here. Okay, so here's the other problem, right? This is not in scientific notation because this number is not between one and 10. It's actually less than one. Okay, so because it's less than one, we're going to need to move this decimal one place over and make this number become two point something. Okay, so this number becomes two point five zero seven eight nine zero two two three times ten to the now this is number less than one so i know my exponent's going to be negative because that's a small number okay and i just moved it over one so it becomes negative one times ten to the ninth okay so now i can use the same rules that i did earlier okay this is x to the a times x to the b, which is equal to x to the a plus b. So this would be negative one plus nine exponent. And so this is 2.5078902223 times 10 to the eighth power. All right, now we have it in scientific notation. That's a good thing, okay? We just need to get it into to the correct number of significant figures. Okay, so um, when we multiply or divide numbers, our answer will have the same number of significant digits or figures as the two numbers we're multiplying or dividing, the one that has the least. In this case, the one that has the least is three. We need to write this so it only has three significant figures. So here's one, here's two, here's three. We're gonna look at this fourth one to determine whether to round the third one up or not. So since that's a seven that says, okay, that's five or larger, okay, then that zero is gonna become a one. So this number becomes 2.51 times 10 to the eighth power. And that's all you guys have to do, okay? All right, so you're gonna have some homework problems that are very similar to this. Here's some rounding with scientific notation, some multiplying, and then some dividing, okay? All right, guys, that's it for today.